What's up everybody, it's me Jordan, and I'm back with another art supply haul video. So in this video, I've got a bunch of different art supplies and I kind of bought them at different times, but I thought I'd just compile it all into one video and then you can just see some of the new stuff that I got. First up, I'm unboxing this microphone, which is what I use at the moment and it's really good and it's a good price as well. So I'll actually cut to that and you can hear the audio from that at the moment. It's just audio from my camera, so you'll be able to hear a difference. So I'll cut to that and we'll continue on with the video. Later on in the video, I'll be unboxing new Copic stuff, I think, and a bunch of new stuff. So just stick around for that. All right, I'm back on my Rode microphone. And I just bought this off eBay and look at all the stuff it came with. It just came with a bunch of free stuff. It's really weird. It came with like a free bag, free t-shirt, stickers, a screen cleaner or something like how random is that and it even came with most random thing a guitar pick so if you play guitar and you don't have a pick you're completely covered here I personally just want the microphone I don't really care about this other stuff but there's a guitar pick there for you <laughs> it just came with all this free stuff so I'm not really complaining but it was pretty random that was just inside the bag I was kind of surprised there wasn't like some drugs or something stashed in there with all the free shit in it <laughs> I previously heard lots of good things about Rode microphones because when I was kind of searching for some I bought a different brand and I tried it out and it was just terrible so I was kind of asking around and doing a bit more research and the Rode microphones seem to be pretty trusty and lots of people use them. There's the Rode Podcaster which is a really common microphone for gaming channels. A lot of people use them but this one was appealing to me because it was just like a full package. It comes with a pop filter and it comes with a stand. So you don't have to buy anything else. It's already straight out of the box. It's just a USB mic, so you can plug it into your computer. You don't have to worry about having any amps or anything else complicated. It's just ready to plug in and use straight away. So it's really simple and it's been really good. I've been really happy with it. So hopefully you guys like the audio from that. So two thumbs up for this product. I highly recommend it. It definitely gets the Jordan Persigardi stamp of approval. Alright, so now onto some art supplies. First up, I got some whiteboard stuff. I just had some ideas for maybe some videos using a whiteboard. I'm not really going to talk about it yet because I'm not sure <laughs> if it's going to go ahead. Also, I got some moleskin. Moleskin? Moleskine? I don't know. People call it different things. I just probably call it moleskin. Moleskine. Actually, I don't know what I call it. But I got some of those journals because I'm going on holiday. I'm probably on holiday while you're watching this actually, so I wanted to have something that I can draw in and just sketch in because I don't really do enough sketching, I really want to do more, so hopefully I'm going to do more of that while I'm on holiday. I've heard those journals are really good and I've seen some really awesome videos of other artists who have done awesome pictures in them, so I'm hoping I do a bunch of drawings in that and then I can show you guys in a month or something a full journal of all these different pictures. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> or it's just gonna have like three different pictures and they're gonna be terrible. <laughs> I'm finally getting to the contents of this package I received in the mail. I am absolutely not worried about any of my stuff being damaged or broken in here because of the amount of bubble wrap that was used. Aichi Craft, save some bubble wrap for the other customers. I think you used enough in mine. <laughs> Their supplies are running low, I think. <laughs> All their orders are cancelled because I used all their bubble wrap. <laughs> I decided to buy a bunch of refills for my Copics because it's kind of getting to the stage now where my Copics are starting to dry up. At least the colours that I use a lot are getting really low. So I've stocked up. Colourless Blender was one that was completely dry and I really missed that. I didn't realise how much I used it, but I used it a lot now. So now I've stocked up on refills for that. And I also bought some individual markers, just some colors that I thought would be good. So some skin tones and some warm grays, I think. Just stuff that I use a lot. I find I use a lot of pale, dull and muted colors a lot because you can use them in lots of different situations. So they're the ones that I find run out quickest, for me anyway. Aichi Craft was nice enough to send me out a free deleter pen so that's the g pen the maru pen and some other nib which no one uses um, and also some deleter ink 
on the condition that I do a review style video for it, an honest review is what they specifically asked and that's what I will give you guys if I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you. And I have experimented with it a little bit, but I'm gonna tell you guys in the actual review. So that's coming. I got this stuff a while back and I feel kind of bad because I haven't done a review video for it. <laughs> I've just been super busy. Like always, they sent me some weird kind of candy things, these koala things. So I'm gonna be trying them out in another video. But guys, that is the end for this video. If you wanna keep up to date with my artwork and see photos and all that stuff, go follow me on Instagram. I post lots of stuff there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It'd be much appreciated. And like always, I'll catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video. I felt like the drawing was looking a little bit plain and it could use a bit more movement in it. So I decided to draw a bow in and this just gives more flow to it. It kind of goes with the hair. It looks like there's a slight breeze coming from the left hand side and it just adds more movement to it. And I think it makes the drawing look a lot more interesting than without it.